Hi Aries, welcome to your general reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and it's Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media links, tons and tons of uh, information there. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings. Those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you. Thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me. And I truly love to do this for you guys. So any support you would like to give the channel would be truly, truly appreciated. And whether that's a like, a share, a comment, a subscribe, anything here to get these messages out to the people that need to um, hear it and grow the channel. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so Aries, general reading for the second half of September. Let's see what we have. This is a general reading, but you can fit it into your situation if it resonates for you any way you see fit. So if you can fit it into a love situation, if it makes sense to do that, then you're more than welcome to fit it into your situation however it fits for you. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Aries. General reading, second half of September. Let's see what we get with the Zodiac Oracle. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. A little extra bonus here. So what kind of energy could be around Aries? Second half of September, Spirit, please. One card for Aries. Thank you so much. Oh, we got two here. Hmm. Which two? Which one? They're telling me to take one and I'll take this one all right you're you're on this you're on this I didn't want to say it the other way okay so that is Aquarius so some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius if not it's all about the human needs of life and changes and we have 20 here which is two which can be about partnership or people coming together in some way, shape, or form. So you, the basic human needs. So, you know, you need sleep, you need food, you need, you know, whatever your body needs, human needs can be love, companionship, anything here. And it's also about changes. So, in Aquarius energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading here. All right, so let's get an overall card for you for the end of September. See what's going on for you, Aries. What's going on for Aries? What is the message for Aries? What is their energy like? What's going on for Aries? Ooh, we have volcano, volatility. Volatility, if I could say that right. So something, this is like the tower in the... Uh, Reminds me here of the tower and tarot and the major arcana. In the tarot, uh, Aries is the tower. So, I don't know. Something coming to a head here, uh, possibly with an Aquarian, or something changing for you. Something come, came to a head here that was very explosive, and now there's a big change going on I don't know let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so the next card out on the top was rain purification so I feel like it's something that you need to purify from maybe it was some sort of um, could have been a fight it could have been a relationship breakup not, not necessarily romantic with a family member friend or something like that some shocking news uh, here it's something that you just feel like you have to purify yourself from here with the rain energy, some kind of toxic energy. And on the bottom of the deck, we have a rebirth. So this is sort of like uh, starting over, starting new, starting fresh, um, you know, after whatever this toxic energy happened here, there was a need to like cleanse and purify your energy and have like a new beginning and a rebirth. This could be the change that's coming in for Uranus about uh, some big change going on here. All right, 
Aries. Aries, what's going on with Aries? What is this big aha shocking revelation? Uh, I don't know where that came from. This big um, tower moment that you felt like toxic energy, maybe you felt like you need to needed to purify yourself from and have a change and like a rebirth. So what's going on with Aries? What is this all about for Aries? Second half of September spirit, please. Can we clarify for Aries? And well, we have two cards here. So we have ten, well, two major arcana here. So we have the sun and we have temperance. So this is about balance here. It's about peace, harmony, and balance patience and time and then you have the sun energy so here is like that purification here is that uh enlightenment that peace that harmony the victory happy home and family uh growth abundance happiness and joy here growth of something new new beginning this everything positive of the sun everything you can imagine happening happening here with the sun energy having, you know, this healing, patient, balanced energy. So I feel like whatever toxic energy happened here that you've already like healed and like purified yourself from it and now you're having like a new start, a new beginning, you know, maybe, you know, whatever this caused, caused a big change. But now I th feel things will be very balanced. It'll be a lot more harmonious, peaceful, happiness, joy with the sun energy. Wow. So let's get more. Let's get more. Actually, let me put that there and I'll put this here. So let's get one more. One more. For Aries, second half of September. Oh, wow. So now we have the Ten of Cups water energy here. And I, so we have. Sagittarius, Leo, and now we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So being in a much better place now, feeling, you know, content, happy and content with the Ten of Cups energy. Happy home and family life. Um, now feeling very happy, content, and joyous and fulfilled now. Whatever healing took place, balance, patience you had with yourself as you purified and healed yourself from this toxic energy. Now having a restart, rebirth, being happy, sun, very positive, positive, happy home and family. Again, with the four swords, with the healing and recovering from this, with the air energy here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uranus is um, Aquarius. So again, healing energy, taking time alone, healing, thinking, contemplating over this whole situation. Wow. Wow. So, so let's see what else here. Seven of Swords. So there might have been some lying or trickery around in this situation that you had to heal from, which caused this tower moment and this toxic uh, energy. Lies, deceit kind of energy, trickery, untrusted energy. Someone being very deceitful and sneaky. Hmm. So let's see if we can get what the actual situation is here. What was the actual situation for Aries? Can we get more information, please, Spirit? Three cards. Thank you. All right. So we have the Knight of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So... This might have been somebody you ran into or reunited from that you knew uh, from childhood, school, first job, a long time family member you hadn't seen in a very long time. Uh, they came in very quick and swiftly here, full of passion and vigor and excitement. And this is, you know, kind of reuniting. And it was somebody I, th I feel like you thought you could trust, that you knew from like I said, your childhood or an old family member or family friend or something like that or somebody you worked with when you were very young. 
and you know reunited with them they came in very like i said very quickly very swiftly very excited and passionate uh kind of energy like uh, a lot of vigor and maybe you just got kind of swept away in that energy like hey you know let's go let's go hang out with the three of cups let's reconnect let's catch up on old times but something happened here uh you may, may have found something out about them that just kind of like blew your mind here and it like changed things forever and you really had to take time alone think and contemplate and heal again healing patience but then coming out very you know happy in a more happier place here and content so let's see uh what else what else let's get a couple clarifiers so i don't know if they lied to you if they stole from you uh deceived you in some way um you know they might have came in uh to your energy being very um excited about like meeting back up and renewing this friendship but all along they had an alternate plan to deceive you in some way whether it was try you know just to steal from you or something like that because now we have the four of wands so they might have like <laughs> stole something from your home because the four of wands speaks of like the home environment because now you have justice so you may may have had to get the justice department in on this uh libra energy here this is your energy fire so it's somebody you felt very content with like you trusted them with the four of wands you see these two people coming together you know they're content they're happy you know they trust each other you might have invited this person into your home but all in the while they were in the back there you know stealing doing things uh behind your back and now you know you've i feel like you've had to get the justice system involved in some way shape or form here wow i do feel trickery deceit lies theft even maybe or something like that wow might have been like i said in your home they might have come into your home you invited them into your home and then <laughs> and while you were trusting them in your home they were stealing from you in some way shape or form and now the justice department or system in some way you had to get justice in this in some way shape or form whatever this was for you wow you know maybe they had a violent outburst or maybe they i don't know it could have been anything they could have revealed something about themselves you know maybe you had a few too many drinks and they got tipsy and maybe they blurted something out about something that they've done in the past that was very shocking and very toxic and you felt like you had to get the justice depart you know justice involved in some way and you like had to cleanse yourself just from hearing this i i don't know it's just very weird energy so if this makes sense to anyone please 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 make a comment let me know um i don't need to know details but uh if this makes sense to anybody okay so what is your advice aries in this situation what is your advice in this situation going forward for Aries? Wow. So, Eight of Wands here uh, is communication, movement, travel, taking action. And Four of Wands here is definitely about, you see you like protecting your resources here, your stability, your foundation wow taking swift action here to protect and secure your resources here so your advice is to take action to protect yourself wow you see this man protecting all his coins you know his material things his finances so this person definitely could have stole like a large amount of money or something or jewels or something like that wow this is getting like specific now i feel so yeah you you 
you need to take this action now to protect yourself, your home, your property, your material things, to keep yourself secure. And if it involves getting the justice in involved in some way, then that's probably what you need to do from this situation. Protecting yourself from this situation. Wow. Spirit just confirming that. Wow. They may, may have even broke into your home and you weren't home. Maybe you invited them into your home. Maybe they didn't know where you lived. You know, you hung out. You had a few drinks. You catch, caught up on old times. And then when you were away, they kind of like snuck in and they stole things from you or something like that. Wow. Take any means necessary here to protect yourself. I don't think you could trust this person at all in any way, shape, or form. And I think you need to like totally cut off this person. So now we have the Queen of Cups here. So, you know, this is water energy. Uh, this is a very loving, caring, nurturing energy. Hmm. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's get one more. See why, why is the Queen of Cups here for your advice? Hmm. Maybe, you know, you had genuine feelings for this person. Genuine feelings of, you know, friendship and adoration and that sort of uh, energy towards this person. All right, so why... Wow. So now we have the King and Queen of Cups. So, I mean, it could be male or female, but now here's the conflict. So, yeah, here's the conflict. So definitely here there's conflict now between the two of you, which was a loving, you know, caring, nurturing friendship now has been torn apart by conflict. Deceit energy over here. Wow. Wow. So now you need to protect yourself from this person. Wow. Okay. So maybe, you know, and here's the conflict and like the strife. So maybe they were even violent and maybe you saw that side of them that you never seen before and it scared you. You didn't know they had that violent side to them also. Wow. All right. So let's see what the outcome could be for you I'm picking up on somebody's story here so if somebody resonates with this please please um, comment below so the three of wands so and this is your outcome so this is like waiting so maybe you are um, you know making this big change here but this is a period of like seeing your where you want to go to in the distance, but there's a period of waiting before you can actually make this, embark on this new journey. So whatever reason here, there's a period of waiting for the right time to either, maybe you have to wait for the completion in the justice system or something like that before you can move on and make a big change here. So there's a period of waiting Maybe you're moving. Maybe you've decided to move. That's the Eight of Wands energy is movement, travel. That can speak of moving. What else? So let's clarify. Wow. Yeah, so we have the chariot here. So cancer energy. So yeah, you're moving away from the situation here. This is the major arcana of moving here with the Eight of Wands. So you're definitely moving. Like you want to pack your things. <laughs> And just like move so I feel like you feel like you really need to move now uh, for some reason maybe this was a neighbor you knew for a long time also or something like that okay so so let's see so now we have the moon energy so yeah there were secrets about this person that you didn't know cancer Pisces here but then things were re revealed to you through this whole turmoil that uh, kind of really shocked you here. And here's the Queen of Swords. So here's the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So spe specifically could be an Aquarius person here. Could be somebody here um, 
related to you, giving you wise advice and guidance, helping you out in the situation, helping you to see the truth and clarity of the situation, helping to guide you in some way. It could even be a lawyer. It could be um, something like that. So yeah, I do feel like there were deep secrets with this person that you didn't know, uh, that you didn't know they had these uh, secrets about them. Wow. Or this way about them. Now it's like really, really shocking to you that you actually saw like their true colors. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So the High Priestess, again, with secrets. So I feel like definitely here, High Priestess knows all the secrets, but she doesn't share them. Very secretive energy here. And paired with the moon, yeah, they had a lot of deep-rooted secrets uh, within them that you had no idea about. And the Magician, so, you know, I think you're manifesting now a new beginning. That's probably why you're moving. But it's just a period of waiting here. The Five of Cups. So you're definitely feeling sad and there could have been even bloodshed uh, with, you know, in this situation. Uh, maybe there was a fight or something like that. But the Five of Cups definitely speaks of, you know, sorrow, loss, heartache over this, which what you thought was a long lost childhood friend ended up breaking your heart. Yep, there's the toxic energy. Feeling so sad and disappointed in finding out all their secrets and all their toxic energy here. Yep. All their secrets. But you're manifesting your way out of this. You're manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself and taking that action and movement forward. And that is the rebirth energy here. It's like a new beginning. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like you feel you have to move, get away from wherever you were. It's the only way you feel like you can actually free yourself from that energy, purify yourself from that energy to have this rebirth, you know, new beginning. It's like there's too much destruction and negative toxic energy now wherever you were so all right so let's get some advice and guidance for you so we have k and night make time for self-care taking care of yourself is essential right now so again doing what's best for you if you feel like you need to move get away or do whatever here take time for you and do what's best for you and take the time and then we have Tanzanite, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. So I feel like, you know, you're slowly healing over this situation. And um, I don't know if there'll be amends with this person. I don't see that happening. But, you know, maybe you have, have trust issues now. But I feel like you're starting to overcome that energy. And then we have Opal. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. I think that's what they did to you. They showed they showed uh, sparkle and shine, but it was that kind of sparkle and shine. And they showed their true self and it wasn't good. <laughs> that's what I'm getting with that. Okay, so what else do we have for Aries? What else? Is there anything else for Aries? The second half of September. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Anything else for Aries? Second half of September. The situation, please, Spirit. So with Laramar, sensitive emotions, times of heightened emotions, sensitivity, call for extra self-care and gentleness. Again, very sensitive time and emotion for you getting over this shocking situation. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Citrine, unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. So if you're worried about this person coming back or worried about anything else that could happen in this situation, I'm just feeling here that the universe is trying to tell you that 
there's no need to worry about it. That they have your back. They're protecting you. They're guiding you. Just want to see here. Yep. All right. Do it this way. So, uh, Aries, I'm sorry you had to go through this. Uh, seemed like it was a very difficult time. It was a big um, change in your life. A big shocking tragedy or circumstance you had to go through here if this resonates for you uh, so I'm wishing you a lot of um, light love and blessings and healing energy keep moving forward in a more positive direction overcoming this whatever it was for you if this didn't resonate for you Aries you could check the description box below for past playlists and maybe something there will resonate for you if you catch a title that resonates with you, I'd say watch it anyway, regardless regardless of the date on it. I do consider them all timeless. <coughs> Sorry. And um, if you do like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.